Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to go ahead and show you how to make these adorable little sweet pea flowers. So these are just two examples of some sweet peas. You can make them larger, you can make them even smaller. Uh, but if you notice, they have a stamen that we've already uh, shown you in a previous video. And then they have an inside petal and an outside petal, and then they have a calyx at the bottom. So once you make your centers, you can go ahead and make your completed flowers. So just as a reminder for the center, it's just kind of like an elongated, almost like a tic-tac that we put onto the wires. And we made just a, uh, one little mark or an indentation with our offset spatula or another um, sculpting tool that you have. That's gonna be our center. My dogs are snoring and one is coughing right behind me. Welcome to my world. That, <laughs> that one is Stella, my, uh, oh, I have to think, 14 year old. Uh, and the seven-year-old is snoring down below me. So for my sweet peas, um, I've rolled out some of the gum paste, uh, rolled it out to about an eighth of an inch, and then I'm gonna take two different size cutters for my sweet peas. So my smallest cutter is obviously gonna be for the inside, and then the larger will be for the outside. So I'm gonna open up my piping bag that I've cut. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my inside and then also one for the outside. And then we're gonna carefully remove both of those, put them on the foam. And you can see I've also rolled out some green for my calyx. So we're gonna go ahead and put these onto my foam. I'm gonna take my balling tool and I'm gonna go ahead and frill out the edges and it's gonna be very similar to how we did the rose petals. Again, a petal is a petal, just so happens that I've got different shapes but I wanna go ahead and frill out my edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of work my way around the outer edge first. The kind of the curved edge here at the bottom is where it will be attached to my stamen. So if you need to hold on to it, that's the area where I would recommend holding on to. And then I'm gonna take my smaller edge balling tool and really frill out the edges. Let that dry for a moment. Let's go back to this side. Not worrying so much about right here in the center of both. I want to have some structure to my petals just like we did for the roses. But I want the edges to be very thin. So with the smaller edge tool and just kind of rubbing back and forth, I create those really frilly edges. Again, this is just on the compressed foam. So my inside, if you notice, has almost like kind of an elephant um, shape to it, an elephant head. And then my outer petal doesn't have any cuts into it. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there into the center of both. And then I'm just gonna almost like make a Y shaped, the letter Y. I'm gonna take my stamen, and this stamen has the indent facing up. I'm gonna go ahead and press that right on top of my inner petal, make sure it adheres, and then I can pick this up. I'm gonna hold this towards the camera, and all I wanna do is kind of curve the bottom edge and kind of hug the stamen, but make sure it's secured to my stamen. And then I'm gonna go back and pinch a little bit. But if you notice, I don't close it completely. I wanna still show that tiny little indent that we did. Now I can go ahead and attach this right on top of my outside petal. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use a tool to help me. I'm gonna go ahead and press that just like we did the first inside petal. I'm gonna pick this up and hold that towards the camera for you. But I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hug the outside and I'm gonna curve around the base of my stamen. And then I'm gonna pinch these a little bit too. The 
The sweet peas are a, a very delicate little flower. They're a very feminine flower. But once you make those stamens, they go pretty quick. So if you wanna do a sweet pea spray onto your wedding cakes, or if you wanna do uh, clusters of sweet peas, they can go pretty fast uh, once you get your stamens nice and dry. So the last thing I have to do is put the calyx on the bottom of my sweet pea. So I'm gonna put this just to some foam for a moment. I've got some green fondant gum paste that are, it's already rolled out. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and flat. And I want my calyx to be pretty thin, so I roll it a little bit thinner than I use for my petals. This is my calyx cutter. So you can see it just looks like a small little star, whereas for the rose calyx it was much larger because that was a much larger uh, flower. So you can use any small little star cutter. I'm gonna press that right into I'm gonna lift this out and then just using a toothpick or a small balling tool I'm gonna to go ahead and pop that out and then with the small edge of my balling tool I'm just going to work out from the center the little tiny stem the little tiny petals of the calyx. And again, this is just the, the bottom of the flower. Put a little bit of glue right in the center. It won't attach. And then I'm gonna take my, my um, finished little sweet pea that we just made together, and then I'm gonna pierce my calyx. I'm gonna push right through. I'm going to string this calyx all the way up. And then I'm going to turn upside down. And then just either with my hands, or you can use a tool if you want, make sure that this attached to your sweet pea. And it's really up to you. You can make it flush against the sweet pea if you wanted to frill the edges of your calyx. You can frill out the little edges. It's your decision. But you wanna make sure that it is attached to your sweet pea. Now this is a finished sweet pea. So I could leave it like this. If I wanted to go back and put a little, um, some petal dust or some luster dust on it, I can. If I wanted to go back and hide any of the white of the bottom of my calyx, or the, I'm sorry, the white of my stamen. I can go back with just a little bit of green petal dust. And I can even just kind of color the wire that I used. So it has a little bit more green coming out of it. If you wanted to go ahead and wrap your sweet peas with the floral wire, go ahead and check out the rose video that I just did where I show you how to go ahead and stretch out the floral wire and then go ahead and start to tape. And you can even tape sweet peas next to each other. I can make a little spray of sweet peas if I wanted to, but I'd first wanna start wrapping my wires together or use green wire to start. But then when I start to bring them together, it's just like I did in the rose video. So you start to kind of twist them together, stretching that floral tape uh, so that they can adhere. And then I have a little sweet pea spray that I can leave by itself, or I can even tuck in some leaves or even some uh, filler flowers if I wanted to. I hope you enjoyed the sweet peas and you're staying busy. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.